So inside Atis, you can have as many workspaces as you want. For example, you could have one for crypto, one for futures, one for stocks, one for currency. And then under each workspace, you can have as many layouts as you want. You could, if you like, only have one workspace with everything in. All your crypto, all your futures, stocks, forex, they could all just be layouts under one big workspace. So on my right hand screen over here, you can see my layout for Bitcoin USD on Bybit. I have three charts and a DOM. And this layout is inside of a workspace. So I can have a few layouts. I could have one for ETH. I could have one for uh, ES Minis. And they're all in the same workspace. So let's go across to my right screen under settings. Double click on workspace. And you can see which workspaces I have. And that highlighted workspace is the one that's active at the moment. Let's close that and go across and double click on layout. So here it is on my right screen. I have these four layouts. This is the one I'm on at the moment. So let's change it to the other layout that I have. So I'm loading another layout. And it's almost identical, but this time it is ETH USD on Bybit. Let's go back to my left screen and let's create a new workspace. So double click on workspaces and click add and let's call that a new workspace. So as soon as we load this, all my charts on my other screen are going to disappear because um, we don't have any layouts loaded. And under that workspace, let's go across and create two layouts. So double click on layouts under settings. And let's call this one BTC on Bybit. Okay. And let's add another one and let's call that ETH on Bybit. Okay, so now we have one workspace with two um, layouts. So let's load that, uh, let's load the BTC layout and let's start adding charts. So on the home tab, click on the little down arrow and let's add a sessions TPO chart for Bitcoin USD on the Bybit exchange. Let's add another chart. Um, in this case, we're going to add a daily TPO chart also on the USD BTC Bitcoin exchange. And let's add one more chart. Let's add an order flow chart on the same exchange. Okay, now we've got our three charts. Uh, we can pull them across to the right screen and sort them out into a layout. As you pull the chart across to another one, a little blue icon appears and you just drop it into the square above below left or right and you can maneuver your um, charts so that you've got the layout that you want so i've got two charts on the left and i have one on the right so i've pulled it over to my right hand screen i'm going to go and now i'm going to go back to the left hand screen and i'm going to pull up a smart dom for the btc usd and I'm going to drag that across to the right screen. Across to here. I'm going to resize the window. Right about like that. And then I'm going to resize this window. Until I have my layout as I want it. 
Okay, so there's my layout. I've got my three charts that I wanted and I have got uh, the DOM. So let's go across to the left screen again and we're going to change to the other layout and do a similar thing. Uh, let's go back here and let's set up the ETH Bybit layout. So let's load that. You see everything disappears because we have <coughs> uh, haven't saved anything there. So now back in the left hand screen, we're in the ETH layout. So let's add some charts. So the first one we're going to add is a sessions TPO. This time we're going to add it for ETH. And we're going to add another chart. We're going to add a daily TPO also for ETH. And the last chart we're going to add is an order flow chart. So let's add that and we will choose ETH USD again. So now we have our three charts. While we're here, let's load a smart DOM and then we and also for ETH. And then we've got all the elements that we need. So first I'm going to pull the smart DOM across to my right screen and I'm going to resize it to what I think is going to be convenient. That's more or less the size. Back to the left hand screen and let's pull, let's put these together. So we'll get them into the similar order to what we did in the previous layout by pulling the chart onto those little blue icons to the square either below, above, left or right until we've got it. Then let's drag all three of these charts across to the right hand screen again and we can resize this to fill the screen. So now you can see I've got another layout but this time it's a very similar layout to the other one. You can put anything in here you like, as many charts as you like. You can use as many screens as you like. Now I've got this layout for ETH on this side and if I want to switch over to my layout for Bitcoin, let's go back to the left screen and load the Bitcoin layout. So double click on it and I tell it to load the Bitcoin one and now you can see I've got the Bitcoin layout so remember the workspaces contain layouts you can have as many workspaces as you want and you can have as many layouts inside the workspaces as you want when I close Atis the workspace with its two layouts will be saved and when I reopen it it'll be as it was Okay, so I've closed Atis and let me reopen it again. There we, remember we made that new workspace. If I wanted to open another workspace, I could open any one of those. But let's open the new one just to make sure that everything's there. And sure enough, there's my BTC USD layout. So let's go back to the left screen and check that the ETH layout is still there. And I'll load the ETH Bybit layout. You can have as many layouts with different, whatever you've got a feed for. If you've got for ES minis, the New York Stock Exchange stocks, you can have as many layouts and workspaces as you like. So I hope this was helpful and I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.